How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Metroflex Bass Addicts channel. Be sure and leave a like down below, leave a comment if you like the video as well. Share the video with a friend and if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss another video. We appreciate the support. But uh, this video is going to be about my last week fishing Possum Kingdom Lake in West Texas. We were there for the Collegiate Bass Trail of Texas first tournament of the 2023-2024 season. Um, and you know, it was a mixed week. Um, I was fishing it with a new partner, you know, Ian graduated college last year and decided not to do a master's. So um, I still have one year of my master's left, so I had to find a new partner. Luckily, my new partner is awesome. His name is Jacob. Uh, you guys will see him here in a little bit on the video. But um, so we paired up together in my boat, headed out to Possum Kingdom with the rest of the team. And it was a great week. Uh, I had a lot of fun. The lake's absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of impossible to be mad on that place just because of how pretty it is. Um, but it was tough, you know, during the week, we caught a lot, as y'all are about to see. In the practice days, uh, it was phenomenal. We were having a, a great time out there, catching them on top water, and basically only top water all day long. Um, but then, you know, of course, in typical fall tournament fashion, the night before the tournament hit, uh, the night before the tournament, a major cold front hit, dropped the water temperature like six to eight degrees, and uh, kind of got the fish in a bad mood, and so we struggled a little bit more in the tournament. But don't want to get into too much here yet. I'm gonna roll the footage. Y'all stay tuned. Uh, one more thing, I know that the last fishing video we posted was the practice video for the second NTX Bass Elite Series Fall Solo Series um, that Ian and I have been fishing on Lake Texoma. And uh, I know you guys were probably expecting the tournament footage from that to be our next video. Unfortunately, uh, we had some things go wrong during that tournament. I wasn't on the fish all that great. Uh, I only brought in three keepers. They were real small. I think they weighed in like three and a half pounds. Um, I got taken out of the last two and a half to three hours of the tournament due to boat issues. My motor start, stopped working on me and I kind of just had to idle into a new creek and then have Ian come pick me up and take me to weigh in and go get my boat after. So didn't really get to fish the entire day, which sucks because I was actually starting to get on a little bit of a pattern there at the end. Right before my boat died, I had jumped off about a four pound smallmouth and I was in an area with a lot of fish, but uh, boat troubles took me out of it. But that's the way it goes, you know, uh, and then Ian actually had a decent day. He had three for, I think, almost 10 pounds. He had three bigger ones, and uh, he placed pretty well. But um, he, the, our uh, power stick with the camera that he was running actually fell out of the boat when he hit a big wave, and so we lost all the footage. So we deeply, we sincerely apologize for not having that tournament footage, um, but gonna move past it, gonna keep moving on. This should be a really fun video to watch. And uh, after that, we're going to have a lot of content from the upcoming Bass Champs Championship on Lake Texoma and the TTO Championship on Possum Kingdom again. So, oh, and the next, the third Fall Solo Series Tournament on Lake Louisville. So that's all coming up in the next three weeks. So it should be a lot of good content rolling, all, rolling your way from us. So y'all stay tuned. We appreciate the support. And let's get into the video. I think I like it. Jacob, he's going to be my new partner for this last year of my college fishing career. And uh, he just caught him a nice, nice solid keeper on the spook. We're out here on Possum Kingdom practicing for the CBTT tournament. So this is the first day of practice. Decent little start, guys. Probably one and a half, maybe. All right, buddy. Thanks, bud. Now I put down the zero spook. That was like 30% force as well on the cast. Reach down and grab them however you gotta do it. There you go. Okay, so that 
Correct me if I'm wrong, but that other one looked like it might have been like a four pounder. It was. Yeah, it was a good one. Uh, at least from the M, this guy's probably blind. Yeah. Oh, 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 dude, big one. Get him. Holy crap. Get him. He, <laughs> came, he came straight out. But with you reeling that, that almost makes me wonder about something like a Chapo. There we go, guys. Num number two. You think he's 14 inches? Yeah. I think he is. No, I don't know. Oh, yeah. he's four. All day. That's definitely four. Yeah. There you go. Look at his eye. That's his eye. Like off the hook. Oh, right off that tree. I guess I got pulled up one. Oh. Good one. <laughs> Dude. Good one. That's a decent one, yeah. Bro, that was such a violent strike, though. He doesn't know what to do with himself. <laughs> yeah, that's a decent one. Another one. Oh, there's another two. Like, they just swam out of the screen. Oh, Alright, guys, my first fish of the morning on the spook. They're chewing the top water today. So far, anyway. He is all kinds of messed up with these hooks. You see, he saw two bass. Yeah, so two bass just swam out of the tree, just down the bank. I need to get the loader off. But... Right here. My first one in the morning, guys, just fishing in the middle of this drain. It's a bunch of timber in the middle of this drain in here, and these fish are kind of suspended in it, just pushing bait back, starting the fall transition. So, throwing topwaters. Thanks. I'm trying to get on my soapbox here. I guess um, one other thing, Jacob. Oh, they, that is a better one. He got a little head on him. Um, I guess one other thing to, to be mindful of is in the tournament, we need to have like some kind of system set up for when one of us gets a bite, the other one has like a fluke or some kind of bait and just like kind of watches. And, oh, a little better. Um, just kind of watches and, and like. For like what happened with your fish over there, where if like there's a follower, we can maybe have that other person pitch in there and try and catch it. Mm -hmm. That one's a lot, a little bit better though. Like I'd take five of those all day. Oh yeah. Hey right, guys, another good one Just on the top water, shady bank in this back of this creek. Real pretty fish. Gonna let him go. See you, bud. Got him. Huh. Is that a smallie? It is a smallie. Oh, he pulls hard. I love these things. You want to net him because he's kind of looked weird on the top of the head. I don't want you to lose him. Hold up, my point out. Okay. It's like a bone. Okay. I wonder, are small enough 14 too? Or do they have special? They're normally 14, but I can see this like being one where it's like a little bit. <laughs> I love small mouths so much. Oh, gosh. They're my absolute favorite. There you go. That's a keeper too. 100% that's a keeper smaller. He's at least, what, 15? Yeah, if you want to, we can check him real quick. Just get our bearings. I can get the measuring board out. It's just in this rod locker. So bad for him. Why, because of the way you hooked him? Yeah. He'll be all right. You want to measure him real quick, just to kind of get our bearings? Because that'll also tell us what we've been catching all day, I think, because he's kind of in that same zone. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, Jacob caught a PK smallmouth. Beautiful fish. Tournament day, I'll have this just riding out of our feet with the camera. This fish is freaking beautiful. <laughs> I 
All right, guys, out here, day two of practice on PK. Jacob just caught a real good one on the spook. Up there in like three feet of water under that dock. We're gonna get a weight on it and let her go, but haven't been filming because it's been kind of slow today. I've caught one on a Texas rig and then he's caught this one, but might be putting something together now, so. Probably about a two, two and a half pound bass. Nice. Appreciate it. Let me get them. Let me get them on the hook and then you can just set the net down and keep fishing. All right, guys. Finally got the first keeper. It's been a struggle today, but. No, he's still on there. Yep, yep, yep. He's still on there. You want to swing him? So a little oh wow he's kind of hard. That one won't be negative. So he's gonna go, you'll have to check him. guys on the red eye shad All right, everyone, so as you saw, kind of an up and down week, you know, practice was incredible. We caught a lot of fish and a lot of really good ones, ranging from about one and a half all the way up to five and a half pounds on that spook. Caught a few on a Texas rig as well, but it was mostly just that spook all practice. You know, they were in the backs of the creeks chasing bait around, and it was really kind of honestly easy to catch, you know, 12 to 16 pounds a day or more. Um, and then that cold front hit the night before the tournament, everything shut down. We could not get bit on a spook and we ended up catching only those two keepers for I think 5.18 pounds on a square bill. And that placed us 48 out of 89 boats in the tournament. So not the finish that Jacob and I were hoping for and not the finish I was hoping to give him in his first college tournament, but you know, still had a fun time. It was a great place to fish. It's, it was a great week and uh, we learned a lot. So can't really complain. Can't complain at all when you're fishing. So. Appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned. Lots of great content coming up, like I said at the beginning of the video. We appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Here we go. At the top of the class on a roll. And it's time to run it up. Yeah, you know. Maxed out. Put the pedal to the flow. Hey, on a roll. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, we winning by a landslide. Never see me coming on my landmine. Yeah, I ain't taking orders in command.